Let me show you how to, we've got animals, let me show you how to de-sting and nettle your field. Because our animals eat grass. Now we could cut this down with a lawnmower, but that would just spread it everywhere and, and obviously it's not good for the alpacas. It's, the sheep, they don't mind it, but they prefer not to eat it. But I don't know if you can see, inside all this there's lots of lovely grass. So when you pull it up, I mean it's been raining, so when you pull it up you get the root out, but you also leave behind the nice bits of grass. So here's a tip. If you ever have stinging nettles at home and you want to get rid of them and you don't want to use chemicals, marigolds. It doesn't look like well, it, it looks pretty or not, but it's really good. Yeah, gorgeous. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> really good because it doesn't you don't get the stinging nettles coming through. You can actually pull it up your arms if it will stay up there. Uh, these are extra large because I've got big hands. Um, but yeah, you just pull them up. And then the other thing that we've noticed is that when you stick stinging nettles on top of stinging nettles, they tend to kill them. So we'll pile them up. But uh, yeah, just, just pull them up. Try, try not to, to get the grass with it. Just pull the sting in it up, root and all if you can. And hey presto, sting in it, was gone. Now listen, if you like what you see and you want to see some more, subscribe to our channel, post it, send it on to other friends, make a comment. Maybe you know something I don't know, which is more than likely, because I don't know a lot, but I have got skills. You've got skills? I've got skills. See you next time. <laughs>